Okay guys, welcome to another episode. Today I'm just going to be showing you how to throw a bait caster, how to cast a bait caster. Um, I made a video of this last year, but the audio was very bad in it, and I didn't go that in depth in it. So this year, I'm going to make a brand new one, and hopefully it, it really helps you guys out in case you're wanting to pick up your first bait caster combo. Just using my Trulanoia Tour KVD rod. So. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, so to cast your bait caster, first the way we set it up, right now I just got a little little bait fish right here. A little, um, what do you call it? A little serrated fish. It's got cuts all over it so it gives it that nice action. Um, what you're gonna do first, I just put it on, just took it out of my tackle box. So the first thing you're going to do to set your bait caster with every bait, you have to make sure you do this. You're going to hit the spool button down. You tighten down your, your uh, tension spool as much as you can. That way your bait's not moving. Okay, so next you're going to loosen this up. Oh no, you're going to drop this all the way to minimum to free spool. You're going to put it on zero magnets. Right now it's on zero, so it's on free spool. Okay, so my button's still pressed down. The next thing you're going to do is loosen the tension spool very slowly until your bait barely stops creeping down. See that? My bait just started falling down. Right there, it's barely falling. Show you one more time, it's barely falling. Okay, so after you have it set to that, or it's barely falling, it takes a couple seconds to hit the ground, then you're going to go ahead and turn your magnets all the way on maximum. Once you have your magnets set all the way and your uh, tension spool set perfect, then we can get into casting. Real quick, I'm just going to show you one cast. Okay. And I'm just going to retrieve it very slowly. It would be pretty cool if I caught a fish while I'm teaching you. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is put your thumb on it, press that down, and then once you cast out, as soon as you're ready to go, let go of it, and make sure you stop it before it hits the water. You want to stop your spool from spinning before it hits the water, that way it'll, it'll make sure that your spool does not keep running and give you that backlash that everyone hates. Okay, one more time, thumb down, thumb on the spool. As soon as you cast out, thumb off, and then thumb back on. As soon as the, right before the bait hits the water. Now this setting is set for beginners. You know, it's it's got all the magnets on, so the spool's not going to spin as freely as possible. If I was to turn the magnets all the way down, that's basically on free spool. And this is something that I like to use when I'm flipping and pitching. So right now I'm going to just flip that bait over just flip it right in the water that's what I like to do when I'm punching mats or just fishing worms and I want to get it nice and close then I'll just take this drop it so it's very loose and then just free spool put it on free spool and pitch it out there so right now it's set on free spool your bait see how see how easy that is it just your bait just goes with absolutely no tension and you barely even have to swing your rod and and that baits just gonna fly out of there see that that's a backlash right there I did that on purpose just to show you guys I barely took my finger off the spool and it and it immediately overran and gave you that backlash Okay, so thumb down, you're going to cast it all the way out, and then you're going to stop it before it hits the water. And that's basically all it takes to learning how to use a bait caster. You got to learn your bait caster first. You got to know what everything does on the, on the bait caster, what it's used for, and, and second of all, you just need to practice. 
if you if, if you practice it after about a couple hundred casts you're gonna really get the hang of it and then you can start experimenting with your different settings you can drop the settings if you'd like I'm just using my uh, TS 1200 True Linoia. this is a brand new one they came out with and it just looks absolutely slick with this tour KVD rod this quantum just decided to make another a newer video of this since I've had a lot of questions on how to throw a bait caster and the different functions of it so thanks for watching guys make sure you subscribe and give a thumbs up if you really found this helpful thanks